In this question, a new agent has been shown to block aldosterone's interaction with its receptors. Which of the following is most likely to be decreased by the activity of this new drug? So first of all, we have to understand what aldosterone does, and then we have to understand, understand a blocker of aldosterone is going to in, decrease which of the following activity. So this, this is further discussed on page 508, first day, 2012. Uh, if you want to follow along with me, please feel free to do so. So in the collecting duct, aldosterone works in the collecting duct. There is two kinds of cells. There is the principal cells and the intercalated cells. But we'll talk about that in a bit. What aldosterone does primarily is it increases receptors in the collecting duct. Uh, these receptors are the sodium, potassium, ATPase. Okay? Sodium, potassium, ATPase. So what it does is aldosterone is going to increase this receptor. When this receptor is increased, the sodium is going to be taken in and the potassium is going to be excreted out by the action of aldosterone. Aldosterone is going to increase its receptors, taking in sodium and releasing potassium. Okay. So whenever we have a blocker of aldosterone, this is not happening. An aldosterone blocker is not going to take in sodium, and it's not going to release potassium. So we're going to end up having more sodium in the tubule and more potassium in the, in the, in the, in the plasma. The same thing happens. Aldosterone has a similar effect with hydrogen. What it does is aldosterone is going to take in sodium okay so this happens the potassium uh, potassium the release of potassium in exchange of sodium happens in the principal cell and the exchange of uh, hydrogen for uh, for sodium ha happens in the intercalated cells okay happens in the intercalated cells. So this happens by the action of aldosterone. As we're taking in sodium, we're getting rid of hydrogen with the help of aldosterone. So when aldosterone is missing from the system, we have more sodium in the tubule. Same here, we have more sodium in the tubule, both by the action of the principal and intercalated cells. And we're going to have less potassium in the tubule, more in the plasma, and here we have less hydrogen in the tubule and more in the plasma. As a result, we can see that the secretion of potassium or the secretion of hydrogen is going to be decreased when we have aldosterone blocker, which is the primary concept of this question. So let's look at the options and see if it really matches our story. Choice A says, principal collecting tubule, sorry, sorry proximal collecting tubule, so PCT, brush border enzyme activity. Which of the following is most likely to be decreased by the activity of this new drug? Proximal collecting tubule brush border enzyme activity will be decreased? No, because aldosterone only, only acts at the collecting tubule. It does not act at the prox PCT. Intercellular proximal collecting tubule hydrogen ion generation. Intracellular, so inside the cell, inside the cell, hydrogen ion generation is going to be decreased. First of all, this statement is correct. It's not really generation, it's more reabsorption. And secondly, it's the hydrogen ion inside the cell is not decreased. In fact, it's increased, okay? So that is also the wrong statement. Choice C, sodium, hydrogen, sorry, sodium, potassium, two chloride transport in the thick ascending limb. This is where loop, loop diuretics work, uh, in the ascending limb of the loop of the Henle. So this has nothing to do with collecting tubule. Aldosterone works in the collecting duct, so this is not the right answer as well. Choice D, hydrogen ion secretion from the intercalated cells of the collecting tubules. Yes, that's what happens. Hydrogen ion secretion from the intercalated, intercalated cells of the collecting tubule is going to be decreased. Okay, So it says which of the following is going to be decreased. So, so far, choice D is our uh, favorite answer. But let's see choice E, urea reabsorption in the collecting tubule. Urea reabsorption in the collecting tubule does happen in the collecting tubule, but it doesn't happen with the help of aldosterone. It happens with it happens with the help. It happens with the help 
of ADH and not aldosterone. So urea reabsorption happens in the collecting tubule by the help of ADH and not aldosterone because urea is dissolved in water and when water is reabsorbed, urea follows water. So in this particular answer, the, it's going to be choice D.